Hi friends, Simit here from informtrades.com. In this video, we'll take a look at hedge fund manager Joel Greenblatt and his approach to trading, what we can learn from it. Key points, uh, Greenblatt's fund has generated annualized returns of 40% since 1985. So Green, uh, Greenblatt's returns are, are pretty impressive by, by any measure. Um, he tends to hold positions for a year or more on average, so a little bit longer term than many other hedge fund managers. He operates from the belief that the market can be very irrational in the near term, but over a long-term perspective, the market is uh, fairly efficient, does get valuation correct. That's Greenblatt's uh, perspective. So he, he looks for when opportunities are undervalued in the near term. Uh, he's very much a value investor. So he looks to identify sort of what the company is worth, what its assets are worth today, uh, how much of a return it's generating on its current assets, and uh, what its price is relative to, to that. So if a company is generating high returns, but it's very uh, cheap based on that, its price is low relative to the earnings that it's generating, that's the kind of thing that Greenblatt would, uh, would buy and include in his portfolio. Uh, from his perspective, he believes analysis is very easy. He wrote a book called The, the Little Book That Still Beats the Markets. Uh, he believes, you know, basically his kids, he said he wrote the book for his kids who are, uh, you know, pre-adolescent. He says, you know, it's easy enough for them to understand it. The hard part is patience and discipline. His method does require uh, holding positions that can lose money or that will be in, you know, in losing uh, positions underwater for, for years at a time. He believes that's the hard part that really tests your patience and discipline. Magicformulainvesting.com, that's his website. It's a really useful website if you're interested in his, uh, his methodology because it does a lot of the number crunching for you. Okay, the magic formula, that's what we'll focus on for, for the bulk of this video, sort of the formula that Greenblatt talks about and uh, utilizes in his approach. Basically what he'll do is sort all stocks by, um, you know, the whole universe of stocks, and thousands of them, by their return on capital. We'll define that a little bit later. Uh, he also sorts them by earnings yield, um, and then he you know, picks the stocks that are doing the best based on the combination of these factors. So, for instance, this, this little chart illustrates, you know, if you look at the whole universe of stocks and, you know, you rank them based on their return on capital, you rank them based on their earnings yield, then you add up these numbers and you pick the 30 best ones that have the combined rank, which are the 30 lowest numbers in a sense. Return on capital. Uh, basically, the formula for return on capital is you take the earnings of the company, earnings before income tax, uh, divided by the company's total assets uh, minus its current liabilities, liabilities that will be due in the near term. So the idea here is, you know, what are the assets the company has, and how much of how many, what kind of profits is it generating based on its assets? Companies that generate significant profits based on their assets are the kind of companies that Greenblatt wants to invest in. The second component is earnings yield. Earnings yield uh, basically is a way of measuring the company's earnings. Again, it's in, uh, you know Greenblatt's whole approach is to find profitable companies that are cheap. So he looks at companies that are generating high earnings but are low um, or have a low price relative to the earnings generated. The way he calculates price is he takes market cap, so how much it would cost to buy every share of the company, plus its debt plus its minority interest, which is for subsidy corporation shareholders uh, or the interest that is not uh, owned by the parent corporation, plus preferred shares minus cash. Uh, the biggest part of these is the market cap and the debt. Um, earnings yield, uh, a simplified version is just earnings divided by market cap. Uh, this is a more precise measure that Greenblatt uses. Uh, he believes it more accurately captures the value of the company. Uh, and again, you know, the higher the market cap is, the more expensive uh, or the lower the earning yield is, and so the lower it's going to be ranked. So Greenblatt's really looking for companies that have low market cap. You know, they're, they're not that expensive to buy the shares of, but they're generating high earnings. So you can find that, and you can find companies that are generating high returns on the assets that they do have. That's the winning formula. That's the magic formula. Uh, the calculations are done for you. If you go to magicformulainvesting.com, if you're interested in this, you really can just, you know, it's done for you practically. The hard part that Greenflat uh, re repeatedly emphasizes is that most people fail because they lack tolerance or drawdowns. This is a long-term approach, uh, and you have to have the patience for it. That's about it. If you have any questions, you can join us at informedtrades.com.